All right, good evening. Lance Vader is back, and today I'm going to tell you how to uh, exploit a little bit the uh, mission system and, uh, and make pretty good cash if you are in Star Citizen and you are uh, starting out. <clears throat> this is a trick, uh, a, it's a little bit of a trick, that, that um, doesn't require any real special... Um, weapons, it doesn't require any special skills, and it doesn't require any special equipment. Today I'm doing this in the Anvil Pisces, uh, the, the a variant of the Pisces that has a quantum drive. And I'm in the noob suit, I'm wearing my um, beacon under uh, undersuit and the Horizon helmet. Um, so that's the free stuff. This is absolute a base, bare minimum basics that I am taking to this mission. Um, that's how confident I am that uh, I won't need any real special hardware to get the job done. Um, this is, what we're doing right here, is a search mission. Um, and you will see search and investigation missions. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to take a look at the Thank contract you. manager. Now I accepted this one already. I accepted this one because uh, I didn't want it to go away while uh, I was setting things up. Um, this was a search mission found under the general tab to pick up cargo. So it says Kovalex, and you gotta, you gotta read these at least a little bit. Uh, it says Kovalex Independent Contractors is looking to hire a freelance pilot for a retrieval job. A constellation was lost in transit, so you will be tasked with navigating to the remains and extracting a crate of watermelon from the wreckage. You will then need to deliver this shipment to Everest Harbor. Pavement will be issued upon delivery. You should know that security is warned of increased outlaw activity in the area. Take uh, the appropriate precautions. Uh, they always say that something like this, but I've never, I don't think I've ever had a problem with like actual pirates at one of these. Um, not in 317 and not before that. Um, so, we're first... Step one is to find that mission, a search or investigation mission, to go to a wreck site. Um, and like I said, this will be in your contracts under the general tab. Um, we're not looking for the Zeta Prolonide uh, salvage claim. Investigation, ooh, ooh, investigation. Let's see. Um, it might have already happened. Let's take advantage of this. Uh, investigation, missing person. These are great contracts. The missing person contracts, 18,000. Um, we're going to accept that one just because that one's great. And we're going to um, investigate wreckage claim. Um, yes, we're going to accept that offer as well. Okay, <clears throat> so I think... Uh, so let's take a look. Missing person. Um, locate ScanTech uh, Gaussik van Buren. TriStar Private Intelligence is currently seeking a contractor to help confirm the status of this guy. According to our initial research, it is believed that Gaussik was serving aboard a constellation, just like the retrieval needed. This was a constellation lost in transit. So that tells us these could very well be the same um, wreck site. Okay, so now a vessel owned by one of our policyholders has been rendered uh, inoperable. Um, okay, so we don't know what the vessel was. It might have been a constellation. It might have been something else. Um, oh, and I also have the call to arms because I think you should always accept the call to arms mission when you uh, get in, unless you're planning on doing criminal activity, of course, um, in which case it won't matter. Um, so we're going to go. Sometimes uh, if there's a site that's pretty close to my, my wreck site, this one looks like it might be on the surface or on the other side of the planet. You can see the distance to HDSF Barnabas is quite a bit different from the distance to the pickup site, so we're not going to try to go that way. We're going to use the uh, OMs, the orbital markers, to get around. Let's see, is this on the ground? Okay. 
Yeah, that looks like it's on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna go full speed ahead. It helps to have a kind of a fast vehicle, something that can do over a thousand meters per second. Um, that's gonna take quite a few seconds to get there, but that's okay. It'll give us time to review our missions. And we're going to, oh, sorry, I keep doing that. Accepted, okay, so we've, we're tracking this one, the retrieval needed, missing person track okay and that is okay that is a different derelict site i'm gonna go to that one 15,000 or 18,000 auec is a better payout and these are usually easier to let's see um, so we'll we'll do the because uh, all you have to do is find the guy. You don't have to bring his remains anywhere, um, and that's usually a pretty easy. Thing. Okay. Oh, plus it's less travel. Hey, how about that? So we're gonna go. Okay. And. Not sure whether we're going to keep that other one, but... Okay. Accepted. Investigation. Investigate. Track that. Okay, so that's a separate one. That's probably the same as the other one. Um, investigation. Search for missing crew. We're going to accept that offer. A const okay. Investigation, search for missing crew. A constellation was reported destroyed. Track that. Okay, that's the other one. All right. So you see what I'm doing is as I'm picking up a whole bunch of these investigation mission. Ooh, here's an investigation mission. Accept offer. So we're going to track that. That one is where we're going so we got two missing person um contracts that we're going to serve at the same rec site so we're going to find two different people and we're going to get paid eighteen thousand auec for each one of these we complete um hopefully you know we should be able to complete them both um constellations are great ships they're not they're not extremely big so there's usually not that much wreckage to search um, it's often pretty easy to find uh, the, the uh, whatever you need to find and put it wherever you need to put it. Um, while we're on our way, I'd also like to tell you about Invictus Week. If you're watching this soon after I've um, uploaded it, then Invictus Week hasn't happened yet this year. It's 2022. Um, <clears throat> Invictus Week starts May 20th. And it goes through the end of the month, May 31st. Um, so it's over 10 days. It's 11 days, technically. And um, for those uh, 11 days, Star Citizen will be free to play. So if you've uh, been looking at this game, you've been wondering when is the time to test it out, to give it a, a test flight, that's the time, okay? Uh, May 20th, uh, I'm going to put my referral link in the uh, description of this video so if you want to sign up for star citizen uh, you can use my referral link you'll get a small bonus i'll get a small bonus it's a very small bonus so don't worry too much about it but it, it's nice it's better it's, it's, i always prefer to get a bonus um than not so um yeah uh that's that's what's going on uh invictus week is great because not only is star citizen free to play but there will also be uh the chance to fly a whole bunch of different military ships for free you'll get to rent them for like two days each uh or a day each and, and you'll get to, to rent them for free um in the game and, it, and there will be they will be shown uh there will be a big uh showroom where all of these uh ships are are getting showed off uh, and you'll be able to see a bunch of really cool military ships um, let's see I, I don't really need to slow down again I can keep going really fast okay 
So, Invictus Week coming up on the 20th. Just thought I'd, I'd throw that out there for you. Um, and uh, hopefully this video helps you as a, a new uh, player make some money in Star Citizen, make some AUEC, some credits, so that you can uh, deck out your ship or, or save up for a new ship uh, or something cool like that. All right, we are approaching the wreck site. Notice I don't quite have it. I'm not going straight at it, but I am going kind of off to the side. That is more or less intentional. I do want to be going close to the wreck site, but I don't want to go straight at it until I'm close and going slow. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to slow down a little bit. We're almost there. And then once we arrive, we're going to check again to see if there's maybe another contract that popped up uh, while we were doing this. Um, and I think the game is trying to encourage people to like converge on these wreck sites at the same time. Uh, I rarely see that. Um, but if you snap up all the contracts that are going to one wreck site, then uh, obviously that's not going to happen for you. Okay, I usually turn off cruise mode, cruise control, when I'm close. I'm going to turn on my lights. Um, let's see, there we are. There's the wreck. Pretty cool. Yeah, so the constellation, it's got several pieces to it. It's got a tail piece, that's the one that, that has the uh, little snub fighter connection. And then there's the middle, that's the cargo bay. And there's the, um, the habitation area, the crew area, the, and the bridge. So we're going to be looking at the bridge and a roundabout. When you do these missions, the missing people that you're looking for, they can be outside of the ship. So be aware of that. <clears throat> Let's see. Contracts manager, investigation, general. Okay, this guy is going to be in a cave. Um, the four thousand AUC ones are in a ca are in caves. Cave on Aberdeen. Yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that one. Um, let's see. And sometimes the personal has a, an investigation mission that you can pick up. The personal missions are usually either legally shady or outright illegal. Um, but um, sometimes, but the, the investigation missions are typically, they're not going to earn you a crime stat like the one we're doing. This is the one that we're doing right now is technically a mission for probably a pirate of some kind. But you know what? We're not involved in any piracy ourselves. Okay, we're going to search that guy. So this is the process. You find a corpse and you hit search. And if that's one of the people that you're trying to look for, then... Uh, it will trigger the end of that mission and you'll get uh, the 18,000 credits. Let's see, is that the one that I just searched? Search. I think that was. This is somewhere else. All right, search. And you, there are crates, and these crates do have some value. You can pick them up and sell them. They're usually not worth it. You can get literally dozens of credits for <laughs> for some of them. <clears throat> um, and a few of them aren't even worth that much. Um, yeah, we'll 
looks like nobody's in the bridge. So we're going to move on to the habitation module. Uh, do I see? Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah, I see someone. Search. Okay. Locate scan tech. Objective complete. Missing person. Boom, 18,000 AUEC. And as you can see, I mean, this is a little annoying to move around in zero gravity, but it's not bad. And we're, we made good money. We're going to see if we can double it. Let's look at the cargo area. Um, and sometimes the... Um, you can get a, a kind of a, a hint as to where a, a given person will be in the ship um, based on their job description. Like the pilot is usually uh, close to the bridge. The engineer is usually closer to the engines. Um, that scan tech was closer, close to the scanning station. Um, let's see. Here's another individual. Oh. Search. But I did not mean to get these. Drop. Okay. You can loot some arms and armor from these guys. Um, it's usually not very high quality. Not really worth it in my opinion and oftentimes it's bugged and it goes away when the mission is over even if you've you've looted it and you've gotten it back on your ship and everything oop, oop. okay I got a new setup from last time. Uh, last time I noticed that my uh, sound was all wrong. You couldn't really hear uh, the game at all. Hopefully you can hear it a little bit um, this time. Uh, not that there's really a lot of sound right now. Um, and hopefully you can hear my keyboard a little less. Um, I will be able to tell after this is all done. I will. I will look at it. I'm, I will notice. So, if you're noticing right now, you're like you don't need to tell me. I. I will have noticed, and I will be making adjustments in the future. I'm sure. Um, sometimes it's hard to see it for some reason. Okay, that guy. I think that guy we haven't searched yet. Hmm. This mission we accepted. Investigation final, goodbye. Um, got a simple kind of disgusting job. Ventra Thurston's ticket got punched. I guess the dusters want some proof of, for something. I honestly don't know why. Maybe they're worried that she's playing dead. Okay, they, they don't say, they're not saying what Ventra Thurston what role Ventra Thurston was playing in the uh, on the ship. Darn. Okay. <clears throat> and you'll notice when the sun is on the screen that um, it can get a lot harder to see anything. That is on purpose. Okay. I, th 
thought we already searched everyone, but we're going to search them all again. Okay, so that was one, two, usually Constellation has a crew of like five or six. And that was our scan tech. That one was worth 18,000. And then... And I'll usually I'll usually search for a little while if I don't find them initially, um, but there's there's nothing wrong with just canceling the contract and uh, and deciding you don't want to do it anymore. Uh, if you get frustrated, if you give up, you can give up. There will be others, um, and we did get paid. 18,000 for being here. So that that's not bad. Let's see. So it was like one, two, three. Four. probably find I'll probably see uh, another one that I didn't search when I'm looking over the footage later it'd be like it's right there in front of you no, it's cool guys it's cool we're chilling we're chilling So I searched that one already. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's all six. Um, so the missions we're looking for are search and investigation. Um, those are the ones that are going to lead you lead you to wrecks uh, and wreck sites. And that's probably the corpse I just searched, but it looks different in this light. Search that one. Okay, we're gonna go on this side. Can't see a doggone thing on this side.
All right. I'm about ready to call it quits on this one. But, um... But, hey, 18,000. For just going there, doing a little searching. That wasn't bad. And... Start tracking one of these other ones. And I bet these are all also the same wreck. So we're going to go there. We're going to make a couple bucks. Looks like we're going to find some stuff. couple of bucks. Um, it used to be that in previous patches, if your derelict site was in space, you could literally just quantum teleport, quantum travel to the derelict site. It would, it would have its own quantum beacon. Um, and I guess they took that out because they wanted it to be a little more, feel a little bit more like you were exploring and you were like going somewhere that uh, that was difficult to get to um, and you weren't just uh, spamming you weren't just uh, going through all of these missions and resolving them very quickly because uh, they are fairly lucrative This one, we've got, I think all of these are the same um, mission. We've got a 9,000, we've got another 9,000, and we've got a, up to 10,000. So we might be making, um, we might be making 20, what is it? Retrieval needed, search for missing crew members. Okay, I didn't abandon that. Um, so we've got, um, a couple of, uh, we've got, uh, up to 10, 19, um, 28,000, uh, credits that are on the table for this job. And that's pretty good. So yeah, now through the magic of editing, this one is going to seem a lot shorter. Okay, we are beginning our final descent. This one's on the surface of Hurston itself. Um, I kind of regret going after this one because it was really far away that I had to go. Uh, it took about 10 minutes of travel time and I haven't seen unfortunately I haven't seen any other um, uh, contracts come up that are for investigation or searching for stuff so <clears throat> we are coming to the derelict site we're going to spend a little time now Hurston isn't is uh, kind of a double-edged sword here. It's kind of a terrible place to go to, for these because you usually have to travel very far, just like we saw. But on the other hand, um, it is usually really um, easy to, uh, to explore here because it's because Hurston is um, Hurston is in the habitable zone. And 
the air is technically breathable. So even if you're not wearing a suit or a helmet of some kind, you're not going to die. Um, now it does say that I failed a contract. I don't know how. Unless I was being timed. I picked that up and I didn't know it. So if they're not going to pay us on that one, we're not going to pick that thing up. Looks like we've got a little weather outside. temperature is a lovely 26 degrees Celsius. Local time is daytime. And we're going to search for it. Okay, so we get paid for each person that we find we're also and then we're gonna go to contract manager accepted um, investigate wreckage claim I'm gonna track that one okay now when you when you pick up when you have a search claim for a specific item it'll give you a marker telling you exactly which item it is that they need and where it is so that's kind of nice I don't know why my game is running so choppy um, I like that these things are easy to see, but I hate that they just keep blinking. There's no way to shut off the blinking. So we are going to put that in the Pisces. This is a mission that you cannot accomplish in uh, certain vehicles, like the, uh, the Arrow or Mustang, because they don't have any room to put boxes in. So I, I do highly recommend that um, if you're a beginner, that you get a vehicle that has room for at least a box or two inside. Sometimes those those box missions are pretty good. Uh, for At least for beginners. Um, and they can be a decent source of income, and they can be a good side gig. Sometimes you can pick up a box mission that's uh, <clears throat> somewhere that you're already going or somewhere in the neighborhood. Let's see. Oh, no, I didn't want to... I did not want to take this guy's stuff. I just wanted to report that he's dead. Search. Okay. See, awarded 1300 ABC. Place... That there. I don't care. All right. <clears throat> well, I will know that I've searched that one. That's for sure. That is, that is one technique you can use to make sure that you uh, you're not searching the same guys over and over. Uh, <laughs> you can take stuff off of them to make it obvious. Okay. Search. So yeah, this is not exactly a, a get-rich-quick scheme, but 
it's a little exploit that um, can help turn these missions into being just you know a teeny bit of money to actually pretty darn okay money for the time and investment and everything it takes. Okay, cannot be accessed from this side. Oh, there's someone. Search. Remember that the, uh, the bodies can be <coughs> outside of the uh, the ship. They can even be, I have seen them be outside of the flares that are around the ship, but that's unusual. Usually they're within that area. Is that somebody? Looks like somebody. All right. person. Objective complete. Okay, so that's all bodies. That we, we found them all. Great. 10,000 for that. Okay, search. Retrieval needed. Um, hey. complete go to pickup site yeah I think I think that's to the same at the same uh, rec site that we're already at retrieve the cargo cargo okay hey that wasn't there before <laughs> that literally just spawned in objective Drop that off at her L5. Okay, so I am going to have a little um, trip ahead of me to make my money. But I will absolutely be able to make money off of this uh, trip. So I already made my 10000 And then when I drop these off, I'll be able to make 9000 for that one and 9000 for that one. Those are each 9000 Look. Accepted. Search. Okay, that one's 9,000. That one's 9,000. Yeah, so we're going to make another uh, 18,000 after we make those deliveries. Uh, and it's not difficult. All we have to do is just go to those places. We're going to go to Tiza Spaceport. And we're going to go to Her L5. All right. Thank you very much. I hope you found this and a kind of an enlightening uh, trick. And um, I will see you next time in the verse. Uh, don't forget, if you like this video, if, you, if this video helped you to uh, make your way in Star Citizen, uh, feel free to throw a, a like or a subscribe my way or uh, share this video with somebody you know who's in uh, who's uh, struggling with Star Citizen or starting out or uh, who might like to play this game. It's a great game. Um, I love it. There's just no tutorials for it, so I thought I would make a few tutorials myself. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time in the verse.